absolute rubbish. This is the vibrate. You can watch. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel it. Just pick it up. Right, okay, it's yeah, it's not a hurt, is no, it? It's, it's a vibration, a it, that is literally it. Uh, so when you pop it down, it's no different to somebody ringing you. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, and you're, literally all you're doing is do, do, do yeah, like so, that. No, so when, when so basically what's happening, when Troy, he's not doing it now, he's doing awesome, check you out buddy. Normally Troy would be spinning around in circles. But what happens, when Troy starts getting himself that worked up to the point that he can't control himself and starts spinning round, I'm doing, holding that until he stops. As soon as he stops spinning, I let go of the button. Right, okay, so... so I'm, it's not... Yeah, it's not... Yeah, I thought you were doing do, do, no. do, but it will continue to... It's continuous right, okay. until the spinning stops. Right. But, uh... Yeah. Because last time he was here, before we'd actually done any e-collar work with him, I had to just... He had to lay down. He had to stay in a down uh, the entire time, and he really struggled with that. And a lot of people might go, well, why can't you just send him to a bed? Why can't you send him to a place? I'm thinking, well, you can, but every single time you go out of Troy, he's going to spend his life in a down or a sit. Yeah. Anytime you're with anyone, anytime you go to anything like that, because otherwise he, can't, he just gets himself worked up. Yeah. So I would rather use the e-collar to interrupt it so he can still behave like a dog. And that's what you'll see on the video. Obviously, after a couple of vibrations, Troy all of a sudden went into being a proper dog, started going around exploring my house, started sniffing properly, yep. uh, and actively started taking himself off and chilling out. Look, he's chilling out. This isn't what Troy does. Even after our last session when we come back, Troy's just instantly going yep. around and I'm having to make him lay down because he won't switch off. Yep. Now he's sitting next to us, aren't you? And he hasn't even got it on. <laughs> Uh, he he didn't stay for it uh, for very long because he went to. Yeah, Stroke him. Every time he spins around in a circle, I'm pushing the vibrate button. Right, okay. What, without any communication or anything like that? I mean... Yeah, because I just want him to figure it out that when he starts getting That's himself worked up and going around in a circle, the vibration starts going off. Let's see. See how he does the whole body shake stuff. Yep. And you can, you can see the whole tone of him lowering. But it's not like a punishment. No, I mean, no, it, ba ba like... no, ba basically, every time we start spinning around in circles, the vibration goes off. And then what he's doing is he's actually starting to... Because when, when he just walks around, the vibration's not going off. When he starts getting worked up, right now, the vibration goes off, he stops, goes into... A sit a more productive thing. Let him know he's doing alright. I'm just trying to break it because he's so obsessive. See how it just the more he spins, the more he gets himself worked up. You can hear his breathing, his breathing gets heavier. The vibration momentarily interrupts him, which actually then lowers his breathing and helps him to relax. And see now he started to go and do slipping. He spins around in circles. But he's actually behaving more dog, so now he's going around sniffing. Rather than just rather spinning, and goes around and spinning. Starts going around in a circle, push it again. And then he stops. Goes and sits down, acknowledge that, I'm okay with that. So really this this session is is now about how we can change his yes. reactions rather yes, the, the, than... the, the first session, what you've been doing for the last two weeks, every day, is conditioning him to the e-collar, teaching him what the e-collar is, so he understands it. So when he feels the e-collar, he doesn't freak out and go, oh my God, what the hell was that? Yeah, without any yeah. kind of... Um... Don't you see that? I don't know if you saw that, but he yawned. Yeah, well, I didn't actually say it, no, but I know that's a uh, tension relief, yeah. isn't it? And it was the longest that he's actually gone and sat down and chilled out for since he's been here. See, he's not pacing as much. Like yeah. when he first got in here, he was going around in circles. And he, 
he gets me worked up just watching it. I, 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 it's hard not to feel for the dog. He's just going around in a circle with it. It's like the inability to relax. Yeah. Now, now he's behaving much, much better. But he goes from like zero to a hundred. It's just, it can't be healthy for him to constantly, like any time he's not at home, to, to constantly be wired. Yeah. But look, now, I mean, everything about him, his energy's lower, his breathing's lower, and now he's actually going around behaving like a dog. He's actually investigating my place, which he never does. Normally, he's just going around in the yeah. circle, in the circle, and you have to make him lay down or do something. So how do you know, then, when you need to press the button? When, you when he starts it? getting himself worked up. It's just to interrupt it. That's, that's all it is. It's like... Uh, when he's going around in circles, getting himself worked up, worked up, worked up, I just push the button, and we're just using the vibrate for this. Yeah. One of the few times I actually used the vibrate with the e collar, uh, and it's just interrupting his process. With dogs, because they generally, for the best part, they can't multitask, right? So if a dog's getting himself worked up, if something interrupts that, it breaks that way of being. Tell you what I so look, when, when, like, so what he's learning, and this is this is why, what he's learning is when he goes around behaves like a normal dog, sniffing everything like that. The the e collar's not going off. Yeah. It's only when he starts to pace around, in circles, getting all obsessive, that it will start to go off. So so all it does is it just breaks that chain of thought. Oh, this I mean, is this. I'm trying to believe this is the calmest I've seen Troy in my house. The, the, the one thing that I know he's never calm is when it's coming up to dinner time at home. Um, within 15 minutes of that happening, here, get up and he'll start barking and he'll start running around in circles because he knows his dinner's going to be coming along in a minute. So if that's the case, should I be putting it on at home and no. when he starts to, to act like that? No, I mean, I, because th th that's slightly different. I mean, he's getting himself worked up because food's coming. It's, it's more excitement than yeah. anything else. It's not, it's not it's, no, it's not neurotic. It's not obsessive, what I, what, what I would call. It's very natural for dogs to get excited. I mean, it's very simple. They don't get excited. Send them to his bed, make him wait there until you've done the food. Yeah. I'm just getting the, I'm getting the phone. In the phone out, I mean, because he, he's just doing, he's doing great. He's been, what, just about 10 minutes doing it. And he's stopping himself getting worked up. He's lower, he's not panting as much. Yeah. His eyes, you can actually see his eyes. It doesn't look like he's on drugs. Because when he gets worked up, his pupils really start to dilate. Like, it's almost like they're bursting out of his head. But Troy never just takes himself off and just chills out when he's not been around here. Not if he's out and about, he's on the go the whole time. Yeah. But as I say, he does relax at home. <sighs> Good boy. He still looks petrified though every time he gets struck. I mean, even with me. Can... That was excellent. To say that he actually stopped himself. Yeah, yeah. He, because again, he gets he goes from zero to a hundred, so it, he started to get himself worked up, and then all of a sudden he's went over there and just chilled out, and, haven't, and look, there we go. We that that yawn is it, it's just it's a stress relieving signal, yeah. which, which to me is 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 a great sign. Yeah, because he's doing it on his own. Yeah. yeah. And he must feel a lot lot better for it. His breathing slowed down. His pup like I said, his pupils are. Uh, back to normal size, he's not getting worked up. And I know, I know obviously it's just a vibrate, which I'll show you in a minute. But look, he's moving around slowly. He's not shutting down, he's not he's not concerned. He's behaving like a spaniel now. His nose is to the floor, look, his tail's in a really nice position. And also Tro Troy is so sensitive. Uh, we, we all know we all know Troy, look. Troy, Troy is very sensitive, so I just mentioned his name, and he goes like, just, Troy, Troy is so sensitive that when pressure is put on him, he will actually wet himself. Yeah. Yet, we've been using the vibration, and he hasn't so much as not, wet himself. Not once but he's actively now taking himself off to places to chill out, because yeah. he knows he can't spin and get himself worked up. 
because the, the spinning's become more like an obsessive behaviour, just spinning, 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 spinning. When he doesn't know what to do with himself, he just spins and spins and spins and spins. But because he's in such a high state of arousal during that time, he can't do the simplest of tasks. Like last time he was here, I just made him lay down and he really struggled with just laying down and doing nothing. Yeah. And Troy's obedience is great, but because he got himself so worked up, a simple thing like laying down for five minutes, he couldn't do. And I had to keep down, down, down. And it was getting more stressful for him because he kept breaking it. And I'm thinking, all I'm doing is asking him to lay down. Yeah. Whereas I'm using the vibrate, the vibrate, and look. Yeah. And you didn't even pick it up then? No. Yeah. Because that's the point. If you do it right and you do it, you don't have to use it forever. Mm. It's just building a pattern in his head. Okay, yeah. every time I get that worked up and to the point I have to start spinning in circles because I can't con yeah. focus anymore, that goes off. So it keeps him yeah. in a much, much better state. Yeah. 